Hey guys, um, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a technique that I like to use uh, to identify where there might be strength in the market. And that's by basically using um, indexes that I custom build. So what you've got in front of you right now is a chart of the dollar index okay equally weighted against the major currency pairs basically what that basically tells you is um, when you're looking at a currency pair for example gbp against the usd you know that might be going up or it might be going down but we don't know if it's going up or going down because of the dollar being weak or the pound being strong and so what I like to do is I like to study the dollar for example on its own so I can understand exactly what's going on so this is a um, this is a picture of my custom-made dollar um, index and you can kind of see right now that the dollar has generally been trading upward so it's been in an uptrend you can see that it has basically been making these kind of generally higher highs and higher lows and we've reached this kind of key point here where we've got a little bit of a flag and if the dollar was to break up for example here then that would indicate a continuation of dollar strength so in that case we can then go and choose some currencies for example to take advantage of that move so we might for example be looking to short euro dollar as a um, as an example so um let me just so if we kind of look at this right now so we can kind of find out what's going on i'm going to just i don't know if it's going to make this quite messy um yeah it is a little bit messy but I did do some weekly analysis and I'm just going to actually remove these right here and show you what I'm seeing at the moment on the dollar. So right now on the dollar, the dollar is going towards a high point, but I don't think we're quite there yet. I think there is possibly a little bit more movement upwards in the dollar here. Um, if you just kind of maybe draw that kind of reactive line there, it feels like, um, it feels like, sorry, I just clicked the wrong thing there. It feels like there's got, it's got in it another little pop up to there. And so I think we might just get another push up in the dollar and then we might find resistance on the dollar. So you can kind of see that the market has generally been holding in this range here. So, and the dollar is approaching a high point right now. So these are the low points, these are the high points. So it's approaching a high point. I think we've got a little bit of room to go here so maybe another push up and then when we kind of look back on the four hour chart you'll see as we said before you've got this nice little flag formation that it just feels like it's got another move up and then we might end up finding um, the the ultimate high point there so uh, what that basically means is that if this does indeed break out, so if we kind of use roughly a um, a market angle similar to this, and you know you can kind of see there, if this was to break out, then I would be wanting to set go into the sort of currency pairs like the euro dollar, like cable, and short them. Right now, though. We are holding here and we are retracing. Um, if we just see if we can, see if we can, is there any channel here? 
a tool that we can uh, identify potentially um, yeah there's a bit of um it's a bit of a uh see if we can do anything more with that so you can kind of see here there's a little bit of um a channel resistance up here let's see if there's anything else that um, could identify where the dollar strength might come in so we'll, we'll put in some more channel lines here maybe change the color up here and let's see yeah that looks quite nice so I, I think uh, if this can kind of just consolidate and find its way down to here this kind of block here and then start to break out. I think that will be a really, really nice uh, opportunity to potentially get a push up in the dollar and give us some opportunities to take some trades. And then over here, we'd be looking to short the dollar against some other currencies uh, to take advantage of a possible pullback. Uh, and we'll kind of keep an eye on the um, on the weekly chart as well to see if it can kind of reach those high points that we identified, which I believe would be slightly higher than that level there. So that's around 16.8. I think the weekly would be coming in. Sorry, I know it looks a bit messy. Actually, it's exactly the same level. That's perfect. So that's kind of what I'd expect. Um, so right now, I would say, you know, cautiously, there could be a bit more of a dollar pullback. Um, if we break through on the four hour chart, then I would be looking to reverse that idea. But cautiously, we could pull back towards here and then look to uh, look to break up. But of course, it could easily break up here as well. It's got a nice little flag formation. It's ready to sort of pop. So as soon as you see it breaking through here, then I would be kind of, you know, wary of the dollar pullback and expect the market to, to start going up. All right, guys, um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today, share something, a new insight for you um, that can help you think of, look at the market in a different way. So right now, um, this should hopefully help you identify you know, some opportunities in some of the currency pairs based on this. Um, so have a great day, good trading, and I'll catch you again soon with another update. Take care.